coming up with YouTube video ideas can be a lot of work. Should I create this video or this video? What if YouTube just told me what video I should make next? Well, that's kind of what they're doing in the new feature available within YouTube Analytics called Research. Let's check out what I'm talking about. So if you go to YouTube Studio, so let's click on our logo, go to YouTube Studio, go to analytics. Normally it used to be just overview, reach, engagement, audience, and then when you get monetized, you get revenue. Now there's this new tab called research. Let's see what's available here. It looks like we can search for pop topics, search across YouTube. Here, the nice thing is your viewer searches. So as we always say, the easiest way to get in front of people and grow your YouTube channel, especially for beginners, is creating stuff for YouTube search. So YouTube is the second largest search engine. Google, largest search engine. Your videos for YouTube can show up on both of them, on Yahoo Search and searches all across the internet. And so if you create videos answering people's questions, it's a great way for you to get views. And so let's figure out what our viewers have been searching for. Let's see all searches, location, and English. So let's click on this right now. So this may only be available within certain countries right now, but as you can see here, Australia, Canada, India, UK, and United States. If I only want to know, hey, what are people from my US audience searching for or just the UK audience, I could also change that filter as well and it's going to update like so. So my viewers within the United States are searching for how to make a YouTube channel, how to start a YouTube channel, affiliate marketing, how to edit videos for YouTube, DaVinci Resolve, how to create a YouTube channel, I don't know what the heck that is, Canva for beginners, how to upload videos on YouTube. Most of these we actually have videos about already. And this is page one of three. So let's see page two, affiliate marketing for beginners. Some of these are really strange. I don't know what that's all about. People are just typing gibberish. So this is something new. Obviously, maybe some of the kinks need to be worked out, but Canva tutorial, DaVinci Resolve 17, DaVinci Resolve 18 just came out. So that would be an opportunity for us to redo all the DaVinci content with the new version. Um, how to make TikTok video, how to edit TikTok video, how to make TikTok video. We have just one video right now, so I think we need to do some more TikTok content. If you wanna learn about TikTok, write TikTok down below in the comment section and we will create more videos about TikTok. How to get more views, how to make a thumbnail, how to make thumbnails for YouTube videos. Let's go back to all, because the funny thing here when I was looking at it before is it basically read my mind, because there was one video that I was just about to record, and then I saw it on here, and I'm like, yeah, we're definitely making this video now, which was on how to change the name of your channel. A week or so ago, I recorded a video on choosing a name and talked about, hey, don't worry about it. You can change the name if you don't want to use the name that you chose previously, and was like, hey, that's probably a good video idea of how to change the name of your YouTube channel. And somewhere on here, let's see, how to change YouTube channel name. So there you go. And right here you see content gap. So what does content gap mean? Content gap is a way of measuring what viewers are searching for and the results they find. A content gap can happen when viewers can't find any results for their searches. Viewers can't find an exact match for their searches. Viewers can't find relevant videos for their searches. For example, the content is old or low quality. You may want to use a content gap as a starting point to research videos that don't exist or could be improved. Before I read all these details, I was just thinking that it was something where we're currently not showing up at all for search results, but it's saying there is in general on YouTube a gap of good videos about this topic. So that would be a great pace for you, especially with a small channel, to go after content gaps of topics where there is a lot of people searching for and there's not good content. Are you just getting started on YouTube? Well, you're in luck. We recently launched a course for YouTube beginners. It's four weeks long. It's a mix of recorded content and live sessions with me and the rest of the team. The recorded content has everything from creating your channel, coming up with video ideas, outlines, recording, editing, publishing, growing on YouTube. Plus the live sessions are there for you to ask us questions, to get feedback. Plus you'll be able to work and learn with a bunch of other students at the same time. So you're not alone starting your YouTube channel. If you're interested in learning more, check out the link in the description below. So this is just the recommendation based on our viewer searches. Also, we can save things. I haven't done that yet, which I would probably do as I explore this platform more and maybe 
with you as well. So if I say Da, Vin, da Vinci 18. So Da Vinci Resolve 18 just came out very, very recently. So there's not even a ton of searches where if I go to 17, I bet a lot more stuff comes up. So it doesn't, I was hoping it would say content gap because we're gonna create videos about the updated software. Um, but let's see, YouTube cards. All right, how to add cards. The YouTube video is medium, YouTube cards, medium, add cards to YouTube video, end cards for YouTube video. The great thing here is in previous videos, we talked about using vidIQ to do research about what people are searching for or to use Ahrefs. Both of those are free tools or there's free version of paid tools, but it gives you the ability to search and figure out is this a popular topic or not? And the nice thing is that YouTube is adding that functionality within your YouTube analytics. So how to add cards to YouTube video, just as an idea. So if this is something I can go look, looks like I can pull it up in Google Trends, or I can also save this. I could use the research tab of my channel analytics to come up with a long list of my future video ideas. So right here within your YouTube analytics, YouTube is basically telling you, here are videos that you need to create for your channel because the audience that already comes to your channel, watches your videos, is looking for something and you should be the one providing that content. So with this new tool to come up with ideas for YouTube videos, I'd like to hear from all of you. What are you currently using to come up with video ideas? Let me know down below in the comment section. We recently created a video with 13 YouTube video ideas that will show up in YouTube search results. If you wanna check that video out, I'll link to it right here. If you wanna learn how to write a video outline, check out that video here. Hope to see you in those and future videos. Bye-bye.